up, night viewer? Now, I'm, I decided I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long while, which is basically, you know, checking out some movies or, you know, basically doing a movie review. Movie, Sky High, from a good buddy of mine. As you can see up here, it says, Between Heaven and Hell, You Will Find a Way. And, it's, overall, it's, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had to watch this movie twice, and here's my reason why. Ryume Kitamura, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, so if I'm messing it up, I do apologize. He did a movie called Versus. Versus is, is a really, really good movie. You know, it's just, all I can say is, wow, you guys have to check that out. And he did, you know, Ryume Kitamura directed other movies as well. Some of them lived up to the standards, and some of them really lived up to his standards. So it's co sort of like saying he raised a bar of expectations. So whenever he do a movie or directed a movie, basically, it's like your expectations are always high. Like you know, you just get that feeling like, oh, he's never gonna let me down, or you know, whatever. Well, for this movie, it was kind of different. I mean, it wasn't different like in bad, it was different like you had to change your view of how you look at it. Because when I first watched this movie, like I said, I had my high expectation to the point where it's like, when, when I was done watching the movie, it was like, uh, well, it, it wasn't meant to be like Versus, obviously, but the style was very, very different. And I had to respect the man for doing that, you know what I mean? It's like, there's so much a director can do, and the director cannot always, you know, do the same thing over and over. They always gotta do something sort of, like, pull a cat out of a bag, or, you know, something different or surprising, you know, just spreading their horizon of, of their style of movie making. And I respect him for that. Because, I'm not gonna lie, is, the movie... Like I said, I had to watch it twice. The first time it was because I had such high expectation. I was like, yeah, he ain't gonna let it down. It was like, eh, kind of. But the, after watching it the second time with an open mind, which I think is the best way to watch movies, regardless who the director is, the producer is, the actors or actresses, or whatever. Whenever they do a movie, the best way to watch a movie is with an open mind. Regardless of their past success or downfall, <clears throat> always give that movie a chance. Well, not every movie gets that chance, you know. I still, to this day, refuse to watch movies like Dragon Ball Evolution and... What was it? i seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation and I refuse to accept that movie even existed. So, I don't really consider that a movie. I, it's like I locked down my memory. And there was another one. Well, there's so many other movies. Everybody had their own opinions. But, you know, I gave this movie a chance. And, like I said, this was a gift given to me by Treasure Fan Zero Two. I have mentioned it in my earlier vids. And, honestly, I would admit I would rent it. I mean, it is watchable. It's viewable. And it's one of those movies that I'll say rent it. Definitely rent it. Now, if you're going to buy it, eh, like I said, have an open mind. I mean, the, the fight scenes were very choreographed. It's like you can practically see them seem like they're waiting on the other person to attack so they could do a cut block and, you know, to do the step, basically, it's like dancing instead of seem more natural. The acting, it was decent. The acting was decent. I'll give them props for that. It was decent. You know, the special effects, props, and stuff like that. Some seem out of place in the movie, while others seem like it can fit. But like I said, I don't want to give away too much of this movie. All I can say is, rent it. Would I recommend buying it? Eh. I mean, if you're a big Rita Mae Kitamura fan, and you're expecting, like, you know, something like he did with Versus and other movies... If you're going to buy it to have like a, a, 
a collection or a tribute dome or whatever of his work, then go ahead. You can go ahead and buy it. But for my standards, I say rent it. Am I ashamed to have it given to me as a gift? No, I'm not. I'm actually glad I got it because, you know, it is enjoyable. It is watchable. I mean, like I said, I can already see myself watching this movie, you know, a couple more times. It's not like a movie where it's like, eh. I, can, I I might as well give it to somebody else. It's more like, okay, it's watchable, it's viewable. And it's one of those movies where it, when you're bored and you just want to kill time, and, but you want to kill time watching a movie that just, you know, you know, too bragged out, or you just want to watch something to watch, I would definitely say rent this. If you already own this, you probably know what I'm talking about. But, like I said, uh, there's nothing really bad to say about it. Just, all I can say is watch it with an open mind. And, again, I'm not ashamed to have it. I am grateful. I do enjoy it. Just more, you know, like I said, my standard, my rating is, which is, by the way, my opinion, rent it. If you really enjoy it that much, then you can go ahead, it's your money, you can go ahead and buy it. But for me, my standard, rent it. But at the same time, I'm not ashamed to own it. It was a gift given for me from my good buddy, and I'm glad I still got it. And I will probably watch it a couple more times. But mostly, all honesty, rent it. Because the plot, the storyline, the characters, they're decent. Just everything else is like, eh, all it is is a love story. That's it. Yes, it does have action. Yes, it does have somewhat of a, well, somewhat of gore. I mean, I know you can see her, you know, she's wearing like a, her wedding dress with blood gush out. So, well, you guys see movies where the action, sometimes they're intense, sometimes they're really good. But then there are some action scenes or action movies where you kind of see and feel that it's like really really choreographed like almost every fight movie scenes in different movies is choreographed you know obviously but they did they always seem to work it where it seemed natural natural enough to be part of the movie but then you see some where it's like you know it's really choreographed like you can actually see through the actors like they're actually waiting for the opponent or the co-worker to do a move so they could counter react it's like the way it's timed the reaction the so it, there is some good decent sword fighting I mean don't get me wrong but it it was so choreographed but like I said overall the main theme of the whole movie was basically a love story now here is some interesting point like the, the plot very interesting Basically, if you're a victim of a murder, you go to this place where they have this huge ass gate called the Gate of Rage. And then there's the guardian of the Gate of Rage and she gives you, you know, three options. The first option is to forgive your murderer so you can transcend yourself and go to heaven. And when you become going to heaven, you have a greater chance to, to be reincarnated. Option number two, don't choose anything, you just wander around like a ghost. You linger. But there's a certain time limit, and I don't remember exactly when, but basically there's like a, you just, basically a lost soul just traveling around, you're confused and stuff. Option three, you curse your murderer, and when your murderer dies, because you, since you had cursed your murderer, not only do that murderer that killed you dies and go to hell, you also go to hell. And those are your three choices. Mina, the girl that you see on the cover, obviously, through the picture you see here, she died on the day of her wedding. Matter of fact, she never even got the chance to walk down the aisle. Well, okay, she did walk down the aisle, but she was dying at the time, you know. I mean, if you're the groom and you see your soon-to-be bride walking down the aisle looking like that, yeah, you're not getting married. 
Well, that's all the time I got. Hope you guys enjoy. Later.